And the tail of the tape for Walter Zamora, Alex Flores. Our next fight up in La Jaula. Damas y caballeros, este es el combate coestelar de esta noche. Ladies and gentlemen, it's our co-featured bout of the evening. Pactado a tres vueltas en la división peso pluma. Set for a distance of three rounds in the featherweight division. Los jueces, the judges. David Holtz, Manuel Gallareta y Miguel Reyes. El referee, Jason Herzog. Presentando la esquina azul. Vestido de negro con color gris, introducing the blue corner. Wearing black with gray trim, su peso oficial. 145 libras y tres cuartos, his official weight. 145 and three quarter pounds. Después de nueve combates dentro de la jaula. Mantiene un récord de ocho victorias y solo una derrota. After entering the jaula, nine times as a pro. He has eight victories against one defeat. Representando a la Sultana del Norte, Monterrey, Nuevo León, México. El Gallito, Alex Flores. En la esquina roja, vestido de negro con blanco in the red corner, wearing black with white trim. He weighed in at 144 and three quarter pounds, su peso oficial, 144 libras y tres cuartos. Esta es su décima segunda pelea a nivel profesional con nueve victorias y dos derrotas. This is his 12th bout as a pro with a record of nine victories against two losses. De Heredia, Costa Rica, Walter El Burro Zamora. Fred has gone over the rules in the back. There are no final questions from you. No final questions from you. Touch gloves if you want. I'm not ready to fight. Jason Herzog, the referee tonight. Fighters touch gloves, and we are ready to go. Walter Zamora, 9-2 as a pro. Alejandro Gallito Flores, 5-1. and one. The nickname Gallito, because when he walked into his gym, First he had round, that buddy, strut. Are you, you ready? A little, little cockiness about him. This is Miguel. the nickname stuck with him. We are underway. The Tico, the Costa Rican in, um, in the black with the white trim, the Mexican, Flores, black with gray. The bad boy shorts. Is that what they are? Oh yep. yeah, they are. Bad boy. Keeping it. What you gonna do? Let me come for you. Yes. 145 pounds, that's where they're fighting at. Alejandro what? Flores play, fighting out of uh, Chicago, Illinois with uh, Coach Mike at B. FS in um, in Chicago. He's got the training partners of, like uh, Yair Rodriguez, who he says is a, a big motivation, big inspiration to him. Who's also been helping him out with his fight for this fight. Lawrence oh man, bringing nice him take down. down. Good takedown. Beautiful right take back down. up. It's great. You can tell that that's not where he wants yeah. to be because he got right back to his feet immediately. Flores started off as a Muay Thai fighter, actually had to sneak around from his parents because they didn't want him to do any of this, any kind of combat sports. Finally found some success, then he jumped to MMA. That's when his parents supported said, okay, you're not gonna listen to us, might as well just support you. He's got a lot of movement, both fellas. Yeah. A lot of fakes. Real calm demeanor with him when we had him in the fighter meetings like very confident about it the rule sure he's doing a good job of, of uh, making sure that the distance doesn't get closed on him you can tell he doesn't want he doesn't want uh he doesn't want to tangle up with zamora at all zamora the costa rican wanted to play soccer but he hated practice very athletic didn't know what to do he found mma in costa rica here he is a professional in mexico living in training in tijuana picking him up dropping him nice elbow man that was beautiful he's doing a good job of remaining calm and he's back to his feet throws the wizard that was beautiful man he, he had him by a single leg and he started elbowing him in the face i loved it nice head position by flores nice knee yeah Zamora looks like he's got looking to lock both of his hands. He's got double unders. Flores using a utilizing that wizard very well. 
and clamping down on that right shoulder blade. Both fighters making their Combate Americas debut. Get an opportunity, see what kind of show they can put on and try to get another invite to one of the fastest growing promotions in North America. That would be Combate Americas, all Latin promotion. The oh. only Latin promotion that there is out there. As Campbell McLaren said, you don't have to be Latin, you just have to fight like one. For huevos, come and bring it, Guerrero. Oh, good knees. Flores needs to get off the fence here. He's not He's not uh, doing a good job of, of getting away from him. He's, he's kind of stuck like a duck on that fence. He's doing a good job of staying upright on his feet, though. He doesn't want to get taken down because he knows that's where he is uh, at his weakest in his game. So he's doing a really great job of, of remaining upright. Flores, last time he was in La Jaula, lost on a guilty choke. There's Zamora, one with a rear naked choke. I fight in Panama. Right, and Zamora knows that he's coming off, of, uh, knows that Flores is coming off of a submission loss. Yeah. But I like how he's staying busy there. He keeps punching him in the face. And uh, it, it, it gave Zamora no choice but to go right back to the, to the top instead of uh, continuing to try to struggle with that single leg takedown. Nice outside leg kick by Flores. He's trying to go for a flying high leg kick, but it doesn't work out, and he knew it, so he quit. Oh, nice flying knee by Flores. Flores in the black and gray. Flores looking for his own takedown, but uh, Zamora bad. throws the wizard. Doing that with ease, isn't he? Yeah, and he gets a, the Muay Thai clinch. Flores on his own single leg. Nice double leg by uh, Flores. 30 seconds to go in the opening round. If he can get Zamora's shoulder blades down to the mat, that'll be uh, a full takedown. Just got to get around those shoulder blades up top. In front of the corner of Flores. Mike, Mike Valle. Yeah. Hey. Nice <laughs> knee that rocked him. Yeah, it did. That rocked him. Nice knee by uh, Flores. Good knee at the end of the round. Final seconds of the opening round. A good one building up between Walter Zamora and Alejandro Flores in Tijuana. Second round, there you see. Zamora on your screen, Flores. Good opening round. For Matematicas, three five minute rounds. We're underway with a second. Tap Club, the Costa Rican Walter Zamora, the Tico. That's the nickname for them. Pura Vida is their slogan. Who do you think won that round? That That's first a round? tough one. Yeah, that was a that, tough one. Because towards the end, you had um, Flores with those good knees. Both guys were doing a really good yeah. job of staying busy. That's when we, you, I, I can see three judges all seen in three different ways. Totally. Coming back with the knees. Flores needs to change his head position. That's why he's getting bullied there on the cage. He needs to change his head position. That's just a good job by Zamora, isn't it? It's a great job by Zamora, actually. No, that was so that beautiful. That, was, that nice. was so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I wish he would just keep him there. Ah! Oh, good knee, but he gets tagged with the left. Yeah, he does, but it was worth it. That left rocked him. His eyes wide open right now are Flores in the black and gray. Slowing it down here a bit. He's going for a takedown again. Man, that was a beautiful takedown. I wish he would just let go, let go, let go. Let go the cage. Nice uh, single leg attempt for Zamora. He's trying to take him down, but uh, Flores is doing a great job of staying upright. Oh, down. somebody's bleeding and it's not Flores. From the it's that was that flying knee. Oh, oh it does strong it again. knee from Flores. Oh, he's nice using that by five Flores. Oh, yeah. Bring it El Gallito Flores having a strong start of the second round. Get around those shoulders, Flores. You can do it. Get around those shoulders. Don't let him get back to his feet. Nice job. He's staying busy. The blood from the nose. Nice job. Costa he's Rican staying Zamora. busy. Put him back down on the ground, Flores. You can do it. Zamora wiping his nose. Oh, oh that knee. Yeah, nice knee to the body. And oh, oh, sit down. Him here. Sit down. You see his corner wide open. Oh, there. oh another good knee. Nice from job. Flores' confidence Flores. is growing. Going for it again. 
Zamora's like, no, you're not taking me down. He's trying to underhook to save his life right now, but it's not working. Looks like he's going to try to go for a guillotine attempt. Zamora's mouth wide open. He's up against La Haula. No, he's not going for a guillotine attempt. He's going to try to stuff his head down, but he says, sit oh. down. Pull him off the fence. That's a nice job, boy. Gushing oh, is that no. He's letting him stand back up again. He had him, didn't he? He had him, but it don't matter. Oh, ah, ah. <laughs> nice. He uh, went for a spinning back fist, and uh, Zamora saw it, went right into the clinch, but it doesn't matter. He's tired. He's lost his Wheaties. Flores' confidence is growing. Nice oh, knee to the head. Oh, that nose is getting peppered over and over. Oh, oh look at that, that kick. Look at Mike Baye in the corner just being a yeah. cool as a cucumber, dude. You're the coach, you're seeing your game plan. The far left coach, apart. he's not even worried about it. Nice yeah. Superman punch. Yep. They clash into the clinch. This is an exciting fight. Oh, he Good finally knee. gives him a knee of his own. And he gives him that eye like, yeah, you got me. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Nice job by Flores to repressure on that. Flores using his bigger size, 5'10 to 5'8. This is my favorite fight of the night so far. Yes. That's a, a beautiful, one. beautiful takedown. He just throws that underhook, just shucks that underhook for the takedown. It's gorgeous. Zamora's trying to use the fence to get back to his feet, and he lets him back up. Yep. Oh, but he's oh. Ah. Oh, good oh. knee, and it's over. It stop. Oh. oh, he's timeout, timeout. Oh. You cannot knee to a downed opponent. He cannot was knee to a downed opponent. He was completely down, yeah, it's true. I'm glad that uh, Jason Herzog is oh. stopping that because I have seen a couple of uh, knees to the face on a downed opponent tonight, and uh, finally it's, it's, it's nice and refreshing to see a referee not afraid to stop the fight on a foul. He was a death. Yeah. Well, both hands weren't on the mat. I don't know. The way he jumped in, I thought he had stopped it. They're back fighting, though. He said, I'll take my warning. Let's let's get this thing back on the roll. Nice body shot by Zamora, but Zamora's lost his weed. As you can tell, he's tired, but don't count him out. He's swinging wild right now. Oh, nice leg kick by Flores. Uppercut, but misses. Drop and roll. Oh, really oh, nice. Nice double leg by uh, Flores. Way to repressure. Bringing an excellent round is Alejandro Gallito Flores in Monterrey, Nuevo Leon, Mexico. What he picked up in Chicago, Illinois is really oh. showing off right now. Yeah, you can tell he's got a little mimicking style of Yair Rodriguez. Yeah. I love it. And his striking okay. is just phenomenal. He wanted to show off his all-around skills. He's doing that here in the oh. second, just like that. He's a nice spinning elbow. Clash for the double leg, stuffed by Zamora. He needs to jack that underhook up. He needs to jack it up. That's not an underhook. Yeah. All that nice. If, oh, man, if he would have got that, that would have been great. All the blood in this round from the nose. Pick, of ankle Walter pick, ankle Zamora. pick. You got it? Not yet. He's got to get a brown nose shoulder and blades. That, he won't get it. The end of two. Good Beautiful round. Beautiful fight. Beautiful I'm fight. Florida's. I'm excited for this one. Wait, is that it? No, that was two. That was oh, two. okay. I was like, why are they putting their hands up? Is it over? Because it's, it's, that round was exhausting. Third round underway. Third and final. Nice leg kick. I love uh, I love everything about uh, Alejandro's style. It's, it's very much... Uh, his footwork is amazing, you know, he's, he's in, he's out, he's out of the way, he doesn't want to get taken down, so he's like, yeah, he's out of there. Nice leg kicks. That's how you make a Combate Americas debut. You come on and put on a show, he's doing that here. Especially against someone that you were, you know, not necessarily the favorite on. Yeah. He, he, he uh, did a great job of getting back to his feet on that takedown. I'd like to see some better head position from him, there we go. So crucial, the little, the little things, huh? Definitely. Got to stick to the basics in MMA. Basics wins fights. Nice knee. Getting out of it. Got caught with the knee, gets hit with the right. Does Flores. Zamora repressuring with the backwards takedown. Beautiful job by uh, Flores. Beautiful job. Flores on top in the He's black going for red. the pass. Going for the pass, and it looks like he's in half guard now. Zamora's guard is wide open. Nice head position. Zamora trying to get back to his feet. He and he's successful in that. Oh, 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 Body shot landed. Moving around. Flores, El Gallito. 
You're right, though. That footwork, the basic stuff, really shining here. Get off of me, Zamora says. <laughs> These guys are tired. I want to see a finish. Yeah, you do. Um, double underhooks for Zamora. Nice foot stomp by Zamora. Three minutes to go in the fight. A nice knee by Flores. Try to He's trying to do his own moves on him. Uppercut landed by Zamora. Flores needs to get out of the way. He needs to get, get back on his footwork. Nice takedown. Scooting. Trying to get to the howler. Nice butt scoot using the fence to help him yep. up. The cage is your friend in this in this instance. He did it immediately too, didn't he? Actually, the cage is always your friend. Right. Get over here. <laughs> yeah, it worked. Get on Control. him. Stay on him. <laughs> Right hand landed by Flores. Nice, nice. He's taking him down right in front of his corner. He's saying, look, Coach Mike. You took me to Chicago. I am repaying you with this performance tonight. He's never going to get a takedown like that. He needs to get in closer. Get those hips in. Tries to drag out that single leg. It's an unsuccessful attempt. But they're back to the feet. They both jab out at the same time. Crashing in for a double leg, looking for the double legs, unsuccessful, but he's got him pinned up against the fence. Needs to get some better head position on it. There it is. This is where you dig deep, right? This is where your conditioning, this is where your mental game gets at you. I mean, you are literally in the thick of it, you know? And so it's you're gonna come down here to, to guts. Who wants it? Who wants it? Way to, to swim in for that underhook and jack it up to the moon. He's got double underhooks. He's got a double body lock. Maybe he can pull him off the fence and get a takedown. There it is. He's going forward. Because that first round, you and I both said it was close to score. Super close. And uh, round two, I would definitely give to Florida. As round three is looking more like... Uh, Cage control here is the winner's gonna go to cage control. Nice knee by Flores. He's got a minute to work. He's got another takedown. I would say he definitely got more takedowns in this round. I mean, yeah. all the takedowns have been his. Controlling this one is Flores. With 45 seconds to go in the fight. He's on top. I'd like to see him get a hook and Zamora's back to his feet. Zamora, he, he, he's just exhausted right now. Good knee, partially blocked. Nice job by Flores. He's got 30 seconds to, to, to make it a decisive decision in the judge's eyes. Oh. Couple good knees for the Costa Rican Zamora. Flores is the one of his own. Zamora's got double underhooks again. Digging deep. Oh, but uh, nice front head control positioning from Flores. Final seconds of the fight. Oh, Zamora he's... and Flores went at it really good in Tijuana Combate 12, and that'll do it. We'll go to the judges. Three tough rounds between the Costa Rican Walter Zamora and the fighter from Monterrey, Nuevo León, Mexico, Alejandro Flores. It's a great fight. Oh. Fight of the night so far, in my opinion. Look how exhausted those guys are. Oh, I know it. Just the smile that hurts. Damas y caballeros, después de tres vueltas, el juez Gallareta anotó 30 a 27 a favor de Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, the three rounds, Judge Gallareta scores it 30 to 27 in favor of Flores. El juez Reyes, 29 a 28 a favor de Zamora. Judge Reyes scores it 29 to 28 in favor of Zamora. Y el juez Hulse anotó 29 a 28. Judge Hulse scores it 29 to 28. In favor of the winner by way of split decision, a favor del vencedor, por decisión dividida, El Gallito, Ale.